Yeah, she's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick All the boys stare, can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket I just wanna get her all alone on a mattress I just wanna have it, I just gotta have it Rumors all around say her body is fantastic All natural, not a piece of fur is plastic Head to her toes, yeah they say that she's a lash Yeah the whispers all around say she has a reputation Don't believe Leave it till I see it, so I want a demonstration And I've always learned it better with a hands-on education So I need a private session if you get what I am saying And they say that she's not easy, no, she's really complicated But that only makes it better, and it's got me so fixated And I'm not the type to wait around, I've never hesitated But she's got me captivated, so the game I'm gonna play it, yeah She's got a body like a coke thing She likes to keep the party going Got me feeling lonely I want that body, baby, show me She's got a body like a coke fan She likes to keep the party going These rumors got me feeling lonely I want that body, baby, show me Hello, hello, hello. Is my mic on? Uh, I think my mic's on. Looks like it's on. Uh, yeah, my mic's on. I think. Yeah. Hello, Range Gaming. Welcome back. Hey, Dave Hernandez, let's go. No name, yes, last. Sean V, are you starting over? Yeah, uh, I'm starting. I'm starting the uh, campaign over just to chill out, 
play the campaign again. It's been so long since I've played through the campaign of this game, so there's a lot I just don't remember that happened in the story. Because Breakpoint doesn't really have a story that you remember like Wildlands did. So yeah, I'm playing back through the uh, campaign, kind of refresh my memory <laughs> of what the hell happens. Just chilling out though, not taking it too serious like the majority of my uh, videos. Uh, am I doing it stealth? Yeah, I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to attempt to do it stealth. But you know, um, I can't remember, I can't remember all the missions, but I do remember there's some missions that, you know, you just, it doesn't really allow you to do stealth because it just forces people to attack you. But the missions I can do stealth, I will be doing stealth. Uh... So bored with this game. Yeah, me too. Uh, Jacob, what's up? What's up? How is everybody doing? Uh, I started a new playthrough last night, but then when I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do a new character. And I was like, ah, I got to do a new character again, again. Because what I want to do is I want to do the whole playthrough as Nomad. And last night when I started that new character, I think I did it as a female. Nothing against females, so just I wanted to do the playthrough as Nomad. The default mo Nomad. Uh, because it's cut up the way it is? Yeah. Uh, the way that they did the how to do the story in this game is really, really weird. But, uh... I mean, I can't, I can't do any. Oh my God! Get out of my face. Uh, but yeah, this is a campaign playthrough, so I'm just chilling out. Uh, I can't remember what settings I did this on last night when I started it. Because when I originally beat the game the first time, I did everything on extreme. Immersive mode wasn't even out when I uh, originally beat the story. <sighs> so what I'm going to do, so I don't take forever on one mission, I'm probably going to do normal. And then do elite tactical. And then... Full interface, oh my god. I think I've ever played with a full full interface. Uh that's gonna be restricted. I'll probably take a look at the interface. Cause since I'm trying to kinda in a way, to be honest with you, I'm kinda rush through the campaign. That's what I'm trying to do. Just rush through it, refresh my memory. So I really don't want to take forever on one mission. So, I think, should I have crosshairs on? I don't know. Uh, this just feels weird. Because I want to turn everything off, just because that's how I normally play. But, I'm just trying to do a chill playthrough. So, I'm like, what do I actually want to leave on? I don't know. I don't really need the this on. I don't think. I don't think it matters. My gosh. Guess I'm just leaving everything on. Leave the enemies on? Teammates? No. Objectives, communication, alerts. A mini map. Should I even have a mini map? That oh my gosh, that'd just be weird. I think it's been absolutely forever since I played with a mini map. Uh who still plays Ghost Recon, Events Warfare, multiplayer, campaign missions? Uh not me. It was fun though. Uh 
I play Ghost Recon Woodlands missions over because they are really good. I think you mean Wildlands. If there is a Ghost Recon Woodlands, I've never heard of it. Uh, if you just chilling, leave markers for destinations in the mini map. Yeah, I I probably turn the enemy markers off later too. Uh, I'm not be I'm not gonna do co-op notifications. I don't need this. I don't think. I think I remember the driving control, so I don't need that. And this is PVP. I don't even play PVP in this game anymore. I don't know. I probably miss. I I probably turn stuff off and on as a player. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want the game helping me out too much just because I'm so used to no HUD but at the same time I don't want to take forever because I really just want to rush through this campaign <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you uh, Joan Collard hey hey what's up how's everybody doing welcome to the stream doing the playthrough of the campaign again maybe give some stealth tips along the way like how I do but yeah I'm gonna try to make my character be nomad I'm skipping this cutscene this should probably be the only cutscene I skip or maybe the first few <laughs> cutscenes so I wanna make my character like nomad I can't fully remember. This is Nomad's face. I think he has dark brown eyes. Hell, I don't know. He does have the long beard A, and his hair is black. That is all I know. So I'm just gonna start with that. Have I thought about playing Splinter Cell? Yeah, every day. I'd be interested to see how you handle the pier where the first guy is with his niece. I've done that mission so many times. I've done it. Hell, I think last night I got to that mission and I did it with no crosshairs and I just eliminated all the enemies without even a scratch. But I'm just chilling. Uh. It, it's it's gonna feel so weird with the HUD on. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It feels so weird already. Can I go ahead and switch to Nomad? Yeah. Oh, he has brown hair. What? When did they change that? He had black hair. I'm so confused. They did the same thing with uh, with Fury. Fury had black hair and they changed it to brown. Like, if you look at her figure... It's brown. It used to be black. Uh, I mean, Nomad's picture right here is even black hair. Fury's hair is black hair. Is it a bug or does Ubisoft just... Ubisoft is just so dumb that they don't know... <laughs> they can't stay consistent with someone's hair color. I don't know, man. So badass, Nomad is my favorite. Yeah, I like Nomad. Um, I'm probably gonna have two Nomads. I'm probably gonna have uh, like the this figure Nomad, and then I'm gonna have another Nomad where he looks the same, except for I can actually customize his outfit and stuff. Oh man, this just this just feels like a total different game. I can understand now when people play with their HUD on and then they go from HUD to no HUD and they're like, oh, it feels like a totally different game. Exactly. That's how I'm feeling going from no HUD to HUD. Let's just say nobody got a haircut. <laughs> when did you start playing the game? Uh, this game? I started playing Breakpoint during the beta, which was like 
Hmm, I think before October. I can't remember. Clear! Was anyone even in there? If there was, they ain't anymore. <laughs> That's messed up, man. I just remember um I had pre ordered this game. And I played the beta and then I got as soon as I got I think I got early access to this game for like a week or something like that. I can't remember. And then like once it was actually like released released I played the game every single day. Does this guy not have a gun? Or can I just not pick it up? This guy has a gun. Oh, uh, it's because I have that one thing on. Well, if I'm if I want to have some of the HUD on, I might as well have that on. If I know which one it is. Uh, is it loot notification? No. Is it? Hang on, I'm fixing to find it. Fixing. Uh, yeah, it's this one. I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's this one. That's so weird. See, I didn't even know that, you know, that was added to the game because that used to not be in the game. Because I play with no HUD. <laughs> so playing with HUD, everything just... I don't know, man. It just feels like a different game. I literally did this last night, this mission right here, and with this HUD on, it still feels like a different game. Uh... I guess it's Ubisoft. Yeah, Ubisoft is very in inconsistent. Uh, gameplay really turned me away, though this though this game was going to be pretty realistic. But I have to shoot a bad guy with a 308 round six times. Uh, Griff T, you're probably playing the game wrong, my man, or chick. I don't know what gender you are. But if you have to shoot someone six fucking times with a 308, yeah, you're playing the game wrong, buddy. Shit. Uh, hey, good thing the audio isn't behind at all. Oh my gosh, is it not? Dude, I've been messing with the settings. All freaking morning. And all day. That's why it took so long for me to actually go live. Because I wanted to go live, like, earlier. But I was like, man, I gotta get these settings on point. But, if the audio gets off, let me know. I think I found a way to fix it during the stream without having to turn everything off. Uh, and I didn't get notification about your other stream. Do you know why that would have happened? I think you was actually in the other stream, cause last night I only streamed twice, and I think you was there for both of them. I mean, all I did was uh this morning with those two streams, I just updated their information, and I guess maybe when I updated the information, it popped up on my channel, and it was like, hey, live stream, and I wasn't even live. It was just me updating the information on those two live streams because I mean I did get in inf a information about it so hey Frank Tastic's live and I was like what I'm live did I hit a button without knowing I hit the button <laughs> oh man crosshairs are so nice I don't know why I now know why everybody leaves crosshairs on. That was so nice. Uh, what do y'all? Five, five, three. I think he had a four, sixteen. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Uh, oh, cool, cool. No man is so damn badass. He is my favorite character in Ghost Recon. Uh, I think the past two Ghost Recons. I mean, No Man's been in both of them. Obviously, he's. I want to say he's got a buffer <laughs> between Wildlands and Breakpoint. I can't remember what the time span is between uh, Bolivia and Aurora. Uh, uh, all morning and all day I'm sitting in front of my computer. That's nice. This is how you should play the beginning of the game. You get Nomad. Yeah. This game is shit. Gun damage is so whack all across the board. And no, I'm not playing the game wrong, dickhead. I'm shooting a guy point blank like six times in the body before he dies. If you think, if you, if you're telling me you're shooting someone six times, 
before they die with a 308. You're playing the game wrong. Shut the fuck up. Or you're going to get banned. Uh, oh, you even have the realistic mags on. Yeah, I'm playing the uh, tactical, the elite tactical. I just have the difficulty on normal. I've already beat the game on, on extreme. I have no, I have no reason to try to do it again on extreme if I've already done it on extreme. I don't know why we're looking to survive. Nothing to survive that shit. We account for everyone who is supposed to be on those birds. Got ah! Ah! I got eyes on a ghost. See, it's elite tactical. If you was playing on a normal tactical difficulty, I wouldn't have gotten injured so fast. I could have just showed you in the settings, but figured I'd just let myself get shot a few times. That's why I really like elite tactical settings because I mean, like, it's very realistic. You get shot once, maybe it takes t two bullets. You're fucking injured. Oh yeah, that's something I said last night. I must try not to do so much. Cuss. <laughs> Man, that's why I don't really do commentary a lot in my videos. It's because I just cuss nonstop. And it's weird because like, if I'm not playing a game, I don't cuss so much. But when I'm playing a video game, I just cuss all the time. I need to not do that. Uh, when is the outfit video going to come out? Uh, probably tomorrow. There's got to be somebody. Where's that? Where's that dude at? Who's talking about shooting someone in the body six times? Where you at? I shot somebody what two, three times in the chest and they died. <laughs> Freaking nerd. Third cloud one one. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. This is Weaver. Come. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not taking pop shots at Walker again like doing? I did last night. Those wolves were hunting me down. But that guy gave you a reason to cuss. Yeah. <laughs> Are they going to update this game? Ah, man, I don't know. Every time I get on Twitter, I swear Ubisoft is like, Oh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint's maintenance server. Down, fixing this, fixing that. And I'm just like, oh, what are y'all even fixing? Because every time I get on, it's still broken. Are you excited for AI teammates? No, not really. I don't need them. But I will say, I hope, I hope when the AI teammates get added to the game, they're actually good. Three shots to the chest. Six shots to a body. Yeah, you're playing the game wrong. Uh, I'll start watching when I get back home because I'm about to go buy some ice cream for my sisters. All right, that's cool. That's what's up. Down 40 people on the live. Yeah, I told you last night. I had, I mean, just having 20 people was pretty insane. It's a pissed off ghost. We got up. Um, but I mean, what, what they were saying? Oh yeah, last night I had like 20 people watching. And that was pretty good for streaming at 2 a.m. And now it's, you know, 5.15 p.m. for me. But I mean, like, you gotta think, you know, live streaming is very new to me. I don't know how to live stream. You know, so if I go live, you know, a lot of people's going to be like, what? This guy's live? That's weird. I don't want to watch that. But I mean, once I get like out of this area and I'm actually infiltrating bases and stuff, I'll probably give some stealth tips. Probably be weird trying to give stealth tips since I have the HUD on for this because it's having the HUD on. is already freaking weird, to be honest. I might just turn the cut off. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just not used to this. Well, 
Because it was late. Yeah, it was. It was 2 a.m. when I was <laughs> streaming earlier. Um, yes, it's at 6.14 for me. Yeah, it's six. It's 5.15 for me, so you're like an hour ahead. Jason, hey, how are you? I'm good. I am good. How are you? How is everybody? Everybody in chat doing pretty good? Uh, this place. They're out here. They won't last long. I lost track of the third guy. Oh wait, no, he's to the left. I was trying to read chat for a second. See, if I was playing with no HUD, if I was right here, I would have already been expecting that guy was seeing me. So I wouldn't have been right here. Yeah, man, I just don't understand with people who play with HUD. And if anybody in chat plays with HUD, I'm not trying to, like, talk down on you or anything. I'm just saying, with people who play with HUD like this, and I have a few things turned off, but... <laughs> if you play with HUD, and then you say the game's hard, I, I don't know what to say, man. Because those detection clouds, oh my gosh, that is... Honestly, I almost forgot that they even existed. Crosshairs isn't working out for me. Am I gonna die already? Ooh, headshot. For me, yeah, because I was still on the live and it was 3 a.m. in the morning. My gosh. Can you go ahead and turn it off for me? No, I can't turn it off for one person. How to how to uh, how to become a Patreon? Uh, I think. I think there is a let me do, 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 do. I think there's a link in the description I'm sure I'm sure there's a link in the description uh, I don't want oh my gosh they actually popped up where it tells you what you're gonna get out of the loot box what when did that get added my gosh, I'm missing out on so much by playing with no HUD. Mayday, Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. Is Ghost still breathing? I don't understand why. You can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the red queen. Uh, I'm gonna skip this. I don't understand why they still haven't fixed it to where if you're wearing a hat or whatever Your character is still wearing it in the freaking cinematics. I don't I just don't get it. I don't understand uh, Or if you use HUD and say it takes six shot to the body to kill someone you're just bad at the game <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to you know be rude or anything, but it shouldn't be taking those six shots to shoot to kill somebody unless you're aiming at a heavy or you're playing with gear score on which he might have been might have been playing with gear score on I don't know I haven't played with gear score on since the uh, immersive mode came out so I can't remember what it's like to play with gear score on but if you turn gear score off you play on immersive mode it is it's not like 100% realistic you know not there's not really any game out there that is realistic like that, but, you know, it doesn't take many shots to actually kill someone. Shoot them in the head anyways. One shot to the head kills them. No matter what. Unless it is a heavy, then it might take uh, two shots. Just gotta shoot the helmet off, and then you gotta shoot him in the head. Leonardo, I love you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I love you too. I love everybody. 
I also hate everybody. It's a very conflicting, conflicting uh, emotion for me. Prince, yo, man, what's up? What's up? Welcome back to the stream. I know you was one of them that was here last night. Oh my god, I can't drive and look at chat at the same time. Apparently, anyways. You like this better than Wildlands? Uh, personally, yes, I do. I mean, before Breakpoint came out, Wildlands was fun. But after Breakpoint came out, I don't know. I just like Breakpoint more. I mean, it's all about personal preference, right? Like, anybody can say, oh, Breakpoint's better. Oh, Wildlands is better because of this, because of that. But it, it just comes down to personal preference. What you want in the game. What you like about the game. Because, I mean, hell, anybody can say, oh, vanilla ice cream's better than chocolate. And I'm like, well, you know what? Chocolate ice cream to me is just better. Fuck you. And there I go again, cussing. But I mean, personally, I just like Breakpoint better. It has mechanics that I just Stop like. Right there. Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Bor. Oh, one. uh, Bor. Gosh, you can I can't turn say your name. Go back down the mountain. While alive, apparently. Bulldozing you know, Tron 5000. What's up? Handle that weapon. Hey, man, what's up? Sorry for you don't being a little late. No, it's all good. Dude, I've only been streaming for like 30 minutes. And what's there, one? A cave. That's what we call it. Get in. <laughs> Who was here for the stream earlier when I got to this point? What was I saying? I was saying something about... I was so exhausted, I can't remember what I was saying, but... I was saying how when I first played this game, and, you know, you see that cutscene, I thought this chick... Because the way, you know, they make you look at your character and whatever, I, I thought that chick was going to have somewhat importance to the story later on. Her character was going to be somewhat important, but no. She's not important at all. That is literally it. For the rest of the game, she is not important at all. She stands by an invisible door that apparently X ghost you know, aka the wolves, can't find. How can they not find this place? Send a freaking drone through that big old hole in the freaking sky, place? you know? Oh my god. Uh, man, how was the State of Decay gameplay? The State of Decay gameplay was really fun. I, me, myself, and I highly enjoyed it. I think everybody else that was there uh, really enjoyed it too. <laughs> there was, there was some parts that was freaking hilarious. You gotta, if you haven't watched it or if you wasn't there, you must definitely need to go back and watch through that. There were some points through that State of Decay gameplay. It was just freaking hilarious. I could not stop laughing. Are you boys alright or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? Our mind's blown. Yep. I'm there for any more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangle with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. 
Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, can I see our wounded? Yeah. Uh. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. I have to down, unlock yeah. the third faction. And then come find me. I'll give you the guided uh, tour. Yeah, so whenever I'll, I'm letting cutscenes go, I'm gonna try not to talk too much through it. Uh, but, uh, let me try to go through chat real quick. Uh, you like this better than Wildlands, Manhouse 30k, have both games. Have both games, just never played Breakpoint yet. I think you should try it out. Like I said, I mean, Wildlands, you know, it, that's that game's not for everybody, but Breakpoint is. Breakpoint isn't for everybody, but Wildlands is. I mean, it's all down to what you... It, it comes down to the game mechanics, you know. Forget everything else. Forget what people say. Forget other people's review about it. It comes down to the game mechanics, what you feel comfortable with, and what you are looking for in a game. Um, there, the Breakpoint story can most definitely be improved, but uh, the game mechanics, I do like the game mechanics. Uh... Corey Crawford, what's up, Frank? What's up? How are you doing? When's the update for AI teammates? I don't know. I don't even think Ubisoft knows. I think they just keep uh, saying a bunch of stuff to get everybody to calm down. But I don't think they're. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't know. But AI teammates might not come to like 2022. I mean, that's a joke. But I don't know. Uh, Manius, it's in July. Is it in July? Man, I should have read that before I just blasted a hole in Ubisoft. <laughs> Do you think Breakpoint is a pay-to-win game? No. And not at all. It's not even close to a pay-to-win game. Um, it was amazing. Uh, I definitely watched, man. How to unlock the third faction. I'm not sure what third faction you're talking about. You know what, what I was thinking? You have to start daily live gameplay on this time. It was really fun to watch daily a new game. What do you think? Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I might do live streams like in the evening. Like, what I might do is I might upload a video every day, like in the morning time, like around 6 a.m., 8 a.m., a video will upload. And then around like 1, 2 o'clock, you know, anywhere between like 2 and 4 in the evening, I might start a live stream. I don't know. I'll see how things go. Uh, the cutscenes or talking moments give me a Fallout 4 vibe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fallout 4, by the way, is another game I will be streaming. Because I just love Fallout. Fallout is oh. a my stuff. I'm skipping this. All because I don't like the voice acting. Or the calm. I just... <laughs> The voice actor for Holt is so trash. He could have done better. Hey, Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. Ah, shut up. What gun do I have? Uh. And do you play Division Two? No, never have. Skipping this one too, because I I watched that cutscene last night. It's a very long, boring cutscene. Except for this, this is kind of decent. Ooh, my 
my ear. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Right. Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm uh, not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. Well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... <laughs> Look. I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Uh -huh. Uh, I might need to get a webcam, to be honest. So, yeah, you guys can actually see my reaction to uh, everything. I don't know. I ha I have a webcam. I just don't have it like the settings for it hooked up to the uh, to the stream. But I don't know. Anyways, uh, I think I think you have to talk to Mad if I know what you mean. Three factions. I, th I thought there's only, I mean, technically there's four factions. Technically there's Sentinel, which is one. There's the Wolves, which is two. There's the Outcast, which is three. And then there's um, Erwan. But I, I'm i not sure what the, they actually call themselves. Uh, I guess survivors, citizens, civilians, whoever, Erwan. Farmers. Uh, so I mean that's four factions technically, unless you want to get even more detailed and be like, there's five factions if you count the ghosts. But I mean, you're pretty much the only ghost running around if you play by yourself. Frank, a quick question, bro. When you, ten or twenty million subscriber, do you forget me, man? Tell me the truth, bro. Uh, probably. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't, I don't think I would, but I don't think I would ever hit that many subscribers in the first place. I think, uh, to hit that many, you have to be, ah, uh, what? Oh yeah, I forgot this crap pops up and it forces me to put it on, uh, not guided mode. Freaking stupid. Get out of my face. Um, I think to hit that many, you gotta have, like, a very wide range of content to hit, you know, the, uh, you know, a big wide range of, uh, audience. Right now, I don't have that. Right now, I mean, my main thing is this game. And I'm trying to do other games like Call of Duty, Insurgency, and even though there's people here... That I do enjoy to watch that, but you know, I have almost 10,000 10, subscribers, and they all. Pre, pre, why do I not see it? Everybody pretty much enjoys the Ghost Recon videos more. So, I think what I have to do, because I mean, if you pay attention to like my views on my Ghost Recon videos compared to like Call of Duty, my Call of Duty would get like a couple of hundred, but my Ghost Recon would get like thousands of views. So, like, I can already see my audience is mostly Ghost Recon. But then again, you gotta think, I pumped out, like, over 300 videos of this game in, like, three months. So, that's pretty insane. I can 
If I pumped out 300 videos of Call of Duty and I didn't have a single person subscribe to me that watched a Call of Duty video, I'd be like, something is wrong here. Um, but I think to hit that many subscribers, you have to have a really, you have to have like a ver variety of games you play or whatever the hell you do. I don't know. And plus you have to be good. I mean, like, the way I see it, if you're not good at commentary, then you have to be good at gameplay. If you're not good at gameplay, you have to be good at commentary. You have to be good at, you know, you have to have a good personality. I don't have either. So, I'm just lucky enough to have the people who are here, here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who is here, who is subscribed. To everybody who's been subscribed for a long time and the people who's here in chat now, I highly appreciate it and I thank you for the support. But I do know, like, to get in the audience of other games, all I have to do is just upload more videos of that game. Like Insurgency, Sandstorm, Generation Zero, Call of Duty, Fortnite, which I don't think I would ever touch Fortnite. But, uh, you know what I mean. Like, I, you can't upload one or two or five videos of, you know, one game that you haven't uploaded on your channel and be like, oh man, I'm not getting any Call of Duty audience. You will get some, yeah, but you won't get that many. You have to constantly, you know, D don't hurt us. just Please. add more of your voice in that, uh, category, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh... Uh, da, 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 da. oh, that's what he meant. What do you? What do I play on? I play on Xbox and PC. PlayStation is the only console I don't have. I would love to have one. I just don't have one. There's no reason for me to p buy a PS4 if the PS5 still can come out. Uh, Dev play some more State of Decay. Oh yeah, I I will. I will most definitely be playing some more State of, State of Decay. I probably play State of Decay tomorrow. Uh, I'm talking about the faction missions in the faction screen. This is a third look at the faction screen. Faction screen. Uh. Am I missing it? What's the third? You get. I mean, this. Are you talking about this? Are you talking about the Terminator? Is this the one you're talking about? I don't know. Because since this is a new character, uh, this is actually the, the outcast leader right here. But like if I went to my main character where I have everything beat, this would be that person. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Or is this it? Which one? I'm sorry, I don't know which one you're talking about. Uh, talking about the faction missions and the faction screen. They third look at the faction screen. Uh, man, I've been watching your videos for almost half a year now, and I have really enjoyed it. Thanks from Finland. Oh my gosh, T S Y N. Indie Bear, Indie Bear. Gosh, I'm not. See, that's one thing about live streaming, man. I'm not good at saying some people's names. Uh, but oh my gosh, half a year—that's insane. Half a year—that's probably how long I've been uh, uploading uh, breakpoint videos. As uh, the, the, as long as you don't forget <laughs> Davido, I don't care if you forget me, but not her. Nah, never. I've never. Man, if I had like some really good artist in my uh, fan community, I'd be like, hey, can anybody make fan artwork of DeVito? Me and DeVito. <laughs> uh, there, bro, you get at both commentary and gaming, and I'm st uh, here to the end of the world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, F the COVID, bro. So yeah, man, keep going, buddy. Man, I appreciate it, Fritz. That's crazy. To the end of the world. I don't, I don't know, man, about that. It's crazy. Uh, the in interrogation point above. Oh, this, this. 
Uh, this was the raid, wasn't it? Or was the no? That's the raid. This is the um. Splinter Cell missions. I don't have it for this character, but uh, my other my main character. I uh, this was the uh Splinter Cell, wasn't it? Because this is like the uh the event thing, right? Because the Terminator was a event thing. I think this was like an event thing. Because <sighs> I've seen things be here before. I just can't remember what it is. But the Splinter Cell. This might be Splinter Cell. The episode 2. Operation Greenstone. Operation Checkmate. I know what this is for, I just can't remember exactly, but I think it's when they do like those big event things. I think they pop up right here, because I'm pretty sure the Terminator thing used to be right here. Man, I can't remember. If Maybe if I was on my main character, I would be able to see something, but since this is a brand new character, I don't think so. No, it's from Sermons Episode 2, not that. Yeah, I just looked at that. But I can't remember what goes right there. I thought it was the raid. It's not the raid. But I've seen stuff be put right there. I just can't remember what it is. Not hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, Fashion I mission to, rewards. I work, uh, for that Skeltec. might have been. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. The battle pass thing Why that did they did, you? that they cut out months ago, to the that they said that they was going to add back, but never did. Off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. This is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No. Uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, uh, not, not, not badly. Uh, we left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. I feel like the audio is delayed. Unless the voice just doesn't match the lips. I guess I'll see when I start shooting. But if the audio is delayed, I think I have a fix for it. Where's your hat, Nomad? Put on your hat, it will protect you. Shit. More bad guys. Everyone take cover! Now doing this mission with HUD on is already different. I'm so used to doing this mission with no HUD. Easy peasy lemon squeezy on my booty. That was weird. I shouldn't have said that. Um. Uh. Do I play Apex? No. I've wanted to, but I just haven't got around to playing it. What I do want to play is Valorant. Valorant? Did I say that right? I want to play Valorant. I think it's only on PC though. Uh. Isn't that for the faction mission? What the hell was that? Oh my goodness. Give me a minute. It's cutscenes. My god. Those people. It, it, it must be a, 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 a new security programmer. Holy flying cow. My guess is. My guess is. Nothing could come to. Or leave this I don't remember this guy's hair 
being so glowy like this. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen, you have to get these people, and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. Okay, yes, yeah. Are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing building you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. Why is everything so glowy? Maybe it's the time of the day. Uh, Frank, bro, you should try all Tom Glancy games like the Division series, Ghost Recon series, and of course, Bloom Cell because you get it stuff and they also suit you. Uh, Prince, I've already played every single Tom Clancy game there is except for um, the, the, the Division 2. The Division 2 is the only one I haven't played, but all the Splinter Cell games, all the original Ghost Recons, uh, I grew up on those. That's why I'm so good at stealth, because <laughs> I grew up on those games. Uh, and don't forget, you know, US Navy SEALs, uh, SOCOM, or crap, I think I, I think it's SOCOM US Navy SEALs, uh, Combined Assault, you know, SOCOM was another one. I don't know why I'm just leaving this area. I need to... What's here that's worth it? The MK-17 weapon parts skill credits. Yeah, I go ahead and just try to loot all this crap. Uh, hey, what you play on? I play on the Xbox, my guy. Xbox. And PC. I play Xbox and PC. I, I just don't have a PlayStation. And I was going to buy one, but then they announced the PS5, and I was like, well, I guess I'm going to wait another two years to have a PlayStation. Uh, okay. Anybody here ever play the SOCOM games on PlayStation? Oh, wow, that was stupid. Give me this back. Dang, I played PS4. Dang. Yeah, I got a lot of personal friends who play PS4, but uh, my brother plays Xbox, and I play PC. <laughs> so, like, my friends, they all play PlayStation, and they're like, oh, man, you got to get, you know, PlayStation so we can play. I'm like, ah, oh, man, I'm thinking about it. But I grew up playing, you know, the Splinter Cell co-op and Ghost Recon co-op and SOCOM's co-op with my brother, so we know how to play with each other perfectly. And he has an Xbox, so I was like, well, you know, I'm going to stick to Xbox so I can play with my brother. And then the fucker never plays with me, so. <laughs> oh, my God, that's stupid. Why did you even get in that seat? Uh, you can call me Indy because you will probably see me here a lot. All right, everyone, Indy. Uh, but, yeah. I think the games that's on PlayStation that I really like is the SOCOM games, but I don't think they made a SOCOM game in, what, 2014, 2012? I had a PS3, and that was the last game I played on it. That was almost the only game I played on it. I played uh, the multiplayer, man. Oh man, I was kicking some booty. Um, I played the SOCOM PvP, and I played, uh, Metagear 4 PvP. I used to have a class. I used to be one of those teachers on, um, Metagear Solid 4, you know, you could have servers and classes, or, um, you know, it, they had PvP stuff, but you could also, like, make custom servers. I used to be a teacher. I, I created my own server. And I was a teacher, and I, you know, was teaching whoever joined how to how to play stealthily, how to utilize all the controls that they have to quickly, you know, shoot someone in the face if they got into a gunfight. How to you uh, use their map, their surroundings. And, you know, oh my gosh, it was that was probably the most fun I had in a multiplayer game. Was just teaching other other nerds how to be stealthy. I don't know if anybody here was in any of those classes. I doubt it because that was years ago. 
the crazy thing is I was like 15. I was like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can't remember my age. But, uh, I was like just a, like, some little nerd in high school teaching people how to play stealth. And everybody was like, oh, man, you know, we got this special forces uh, guy teaching us how to be stealthy and everything. And then I was like, nah, I'm 12, bro. <laughs> uh, you should try Metal Gear series Phantom Pain. I played all the Metal Gears. Like, the crazy thing is, all these games you're recommending for me to play, Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon... Uh, Metal Gear. I've played those. I grew up on those. That's why I'm so good at stealth. From like, I don't know, the age four all the way up until now. That's, I've played games like that every day. Other than, you know, like Call of Duty and Halo and stuff like that. Hey, Red Queen. White Rabbit. The Nomad? first PlayStation game was Iron Man on PlayStation 2. It was such an amazing game that nobody talks about. Josiah. I played it. Holy shit. Nice to see you're still above ground. Anyone else from your chalk? Few. Who were scattered. Man. We sure screwed the pooch on this one. I think the games that I remember the most from PlayStation 2, other than like SOCOM and Me uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 and whatever, is the freaking Dragon Ball Z, Booty Kai, uh, Team Kaichi games. All those games, man. Josiah, I saw Walker out there, hunting down our soldiers. You saw who? Lieutenant Colonel Walker. Cole Walker, here, fighting our guys? There's no way. No way, man. Uh, I think I've said all of these before. That's what I saw. I can't believe it. He's one guy I admired, you know? Guess you were wrong. <laughs> <sighs> uh, please be uploading COD videos too. You're ridiculously getting Ghost Recon, by the way. I'm a massive fan. Massive so what's your lay of the land? Well, thank you for being a massive fan. That's awesome. Appreciate it. And Call of Duty videos will still be being released. Either Walker sank that cargo ship, or someone he was working with did. You get a controller or keyboard mouse. Look. It depends on the game. Depends on the game. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh... There we go. I've already read all of this stuff, so I don't need to read it again. Jay Skell sunk that cargo ship. Damn. Everything that happens here is because of that prick. That damn nerd. I'll locate Jay Skell. I met some Skell Tech employees. I'll see what they know. Uh, have you played I'll Far try Cry? I'll up more survivors. We'll link up at RP Delta. Sounds good. Yeah, I have. I play Far Cry 3, 4, and 5, but I think there's a new... Was it a DLC, or is it just, like, pretty much Far Cry 6, but it still takes place, like, in Far Cry 5? Just after the end of Far Cry 5? Because at the end of Far Cry 5, in case you didn't know, spoiler alert, the game's been out for a while, you should have played it, is a freaking nuke goes off, and it's just complete apocalypse. Uh, oh my gosh, MG121, do I want that bad boy? Uh, you play 2K or, uh, the, the soccer game? No. FIFA? Is it, is it FIFA? I don't think I've ever heard anyone say FIFA, so I'm pretty sure it's FIFA. 
which I do know is the soccer game. Now, I've watched people play it, but I've, I've never played it. Uh, let me tell you, though, I haven't really played sport games uh, in my adulthood. But when I was a kid, my guy, my freaking go-to sport game, it was uh, Street 2. Well, actually, both Street 1 and Street 2 is good, but personally, I preferred NFL Street 2 better. Uh, if you're here and you ever play NFL Street 2 on PlayStation 2, you are an OG. You're a legend. Or the uh, the basketball street. Oh, man, I think I think the... Uh, in, I, gosh, it's been so long. I can't remember the actual name, but it might have been NBA Street. But NFL Street 2 was my game, dude. I freaking loved it. In it, NFL Street 2 was lit. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. They need to. Why don't they remake those? They keep copy pasta these freaking uh, professional NFL games. They don't even do the college football games anymore. Why don't they freaking make in the NFL Street game, man? That's what I want. That's what I want to play. Street Volume 2, was that the NBA one? And guys, it's, it's just been so long, I just cannot remember the uh, actual name of it. And I do apologize if I don't say the name correctly. Uh, don't forget the Def Jam series. The, uh, the, oh crap. I remember the name Def Jam, but I can't remember like the rest of the name. But I think there was two of them. I think there was like Def Jam and then like Def Jam New York, New York, New York City maybe? Is that, is that what it was called? I don't think it was Def Jam New York City. I think it was Def Jam Fight Back or something like that. I don't know. Fight for New York. Yeah, I knew New York was in there. Man, I played, I played Str NFL Street 2, the uh, basketball one, which I think you said was Street Volume 2. Uh, I played the Def Jam games. Uh... <laughs> there was one game what was it 50 cent bulletproof I played that man it's been forever since I played any of those games though uh there was that um true crimes game I think there's two of those cause I think one of them was like an Asian dude I think the second one you was a black dude I think I think you was a black cop maybe uh and of course, I played my military games, you know, SOCOM, Metal Gear, Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell. Oh. Uh, don't forget uh, Desert Storm, and then that Vietnam game that was very similar to Desert Storm. I played those too. I was. Mortal Kombat. That, Mortal Kombat's another game I grew up on. But I haven't kept up with it. Like the last Mortal Kombat. Oh my gosh, these freaking helicopters, man. The last Mortal Kombat game I played was Mortal Kombat 9. After X and then the like newest ones, I don't know. Honestly, to me, they just. They started feeling very repetitive. Like they just. Almost like a copy pasta, just the characters have a new skin, a new outfit. You ever tried Watch Dogs? No, Watch Dogs is a game that I haven't played. I've wanted to. I just never had the chance to. Where does he use the plants he normally collects while moving? Uh, where does he use the plants he normally collects while moving? Well, I mean, I think I could just sit right here, right? I don't really mess with them. But I think you use them at a, uh, a bivouac. I hope after your marriage you continue gaming finger cross. I probably will. It depends. I have a two year a two year old daughter. She just turned two a month ago. And uh I have a second kid on the way. <laughs> so and I'm also engaged. So and don't forget I also have a motorcycle that I take care of, so there's a lot of things on my plate when it comes to that stuff. <coughs> I'm 
But, um, where am I going? Why am I running to this? If I knew I was going to Air One, I would have just freaking fast traveled. Just running through this. Uh, oh man. What are some other. Uh, name the sun Nomad. <laughs> I would, but it's another girl. I'm gonna have two girls. Uh, you should have a million subs because you're amazing. Thank you, Rojo. Did I say that right? D spy. I'm just gonna call you R spy. What's on the other side of all this? I don't know about a million subs though. I'm not that great. Also, to be honest with you, YouTube is very uh, picky when it comes to like who they actually support and who they don't. It's like they want. Oh, you know, we will help you grow your channel. And then when you actually try to, you know, be like, hey, can you help me? And they're like, nah, you're not big enough. You gotta have like 20 million subs before we're even talking to you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> A bruh. <laughs> A bruh. Mads, did the folks from the beach make it back? You mean the survivors? I knew some of the people on that boat since they were babies. I saw them take their first steps. I did my best. Your best? We were supposed to have a ship. Marines. And all we got were bodies washing up on the shore and... Some grunt, twisting in the wind. Mads, this grunt did save a whole lot of us. Oh, but my daughter, it's not a small thing. I know. But it ain't enough. Not with these odds. This isn't over. I found my friend Sergeant Major Hill. We've got a plan to go after Jay Skell. If we can stop him, take control over the drone. Hold on, hold on. You think Jace is behind this? You're wrong. He's a good guy and my best friend. Sentinel took over the island. <sighs> Follow me. I have evidence. Well, I got more immediate problems. My people have to prepare for the long haul. Man, he's always touching that damn hand. Rolling hand. Finding skill is my priority. I swear, man. I don't think I've ever seen a character touch his head as much as this guy does in a video game. Uh, uh, Rojo, you are. What's your GPU? Um, uh, Raiden Series 570. Uh, I'm trying to remember the actual name of it. It's it's not the greatest GPU, but it's also not the worst. It's like an average, maybe a little bit above average. It's not the best, but it, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, it plays any game I want to play, but it's also like it's not strong enough for me to play and like record certain games. But uh, I don't have a problem with it. But I will be upgrading my GPU very very soon I'm just trying to figure out what I want and what I'm willing to spend since I do have a ki second kid on the way uh, man what you mean you're not great bro trust me if you stand up for president my vote is for you oh my gosh don't even start on that that's crazy I'm pretty I mean I appreciate it but <laughs> at the same time I'm pretty positive there's other people that would be more fitting as president other you know as long as it's not some you know rich prick who only cares about themselves and their uh, ego and whatever I need to go talk to this person or do I need to talk to heal I don't think it matters gather information about yeah I just go talk to him I'm already here Talk to 
talk to this nerd over here. What bikes have you owned or own? Uh, I used to own a long time ago. Technically, it wasn't in my name. So, technically, I didn't own it, but we had. I got to ride. Uh, the first one was, I can't remember the year, but it was a Honda Rebel. And then, not too long ago, All right, Fox. I had a... I'm telling you, my Jace gosh. is not behind this. Someone on the inside, this, uh... He sent me a video of the guy in charge of Sentinel. I don't think I remember those cutscenes. That surf on the south coast looks rough as shit. Don't curse. Seriously. Stone is gonna find any employee who curses? Ask him yourself. Ask him yourself. Captain Gibson. Captain Coleman. It's the two soldiers I wanted to see. Mike Gash. Mr. Stone. Operation Citadel is an outstanding success. No communication of any kind is leaving or coming into the island. The drone perimeter is active. And while Miss Puri is out there winning hearts and minds, you lot are going to root out the troublemakers. Captain Coleman, I want those homesteaders under control. Homesteaders. There's a cutting-edge technology that I'd like to exploit. Sounds perfect. Captain Gibson, take care of that terrorist bomber and those outcasts of hers. Outcast. And we know there ain't many left. But they're in your AO. Find them. Squash them. Sir, are the holding facilities complete? I said squash them. Not capture. Don't y'all just love being in the South Pacific? The way the ocean breeze carries that scent of jasmine reminds me of Savannah. Tennessee. Hey, y'all enjoy yourselves out there. If you see a ghost from one of those choppers, shoot on sight. Clearly, Jace is not behind it. Look, even if only Sentinel's behind this, it means your pal lost control of Aroa. He sank that cargo ship, and I still have to find him. He's the only one who'll know what to do. Fine. Screw it. He has a villa hidden in the hills. <clears throat> the door code is 120386. Just give him a chance. That's all I ask. Uh... Let me see, fact, what bikes, are, oh yeah, the bikes, uh, first there was the Honda Rebel, and then it was, um, a 04, or a 06, uh, I think it was a 04 and 06, uh, 1100 V-Star, and then I bought a very cheap, uh, 125 Kawasaki Eliminator. Which was, it was a beautiful bike, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I bought it for like a hundred bucks from this kid who had no idea what the hell he was doing with a motorcycle. Or or how to sell one. And then uh, after that I bought uh, a 2002 Suzuki Jixxer 600. Which is a sport bike and because you don't know that. I bought that for my brother because he bought it from someone else. And then I tore that one down and completely rebuilt it from the frame up and converted it from a 2002 Jixxer to a 2008 Jixxer 1000. <laughs> it was pretty insane. I kept the uh, O2 body frame and if you don't know anything about bikes, pretty much the 08 was slim. And the O2 was big and bulky and <laughs> just a big boy and heavy. So I had a lot of a lot of work to do. But 
I eventually got it done, and it was pretty amazing. I'm I'm probably gonna post a picture of that bike on my community feed some point, so I can be like, hey, here's what the bike looked like, and then this is what it looked like when I got done with it. And y'all gonna be like, dang man, that's so cool. I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, and now I own a 2017 Yamaha YZF R6. I did own the Jixxer and the R6 at the same time. So a year or two ago, I did have two sport bikes in my garage. And it was like that for a couple of months. But then uh, I sold the Jixxer. I sold it for like 3500 And the reason why I sold it, because I didn't really want to sell it, but the reason why I sold it was because someone came over and they was like, hey, I have 3,500 cash in my hand right now. I want to buy this bike. And I'm like, okay. Uh, I mean, do you even know how to ride? It was like, yeah. Can I test ride it first? I was like, okay, yeah. But before you test ride it, you got to show me the money and put it in my hand. So he he gave me the money. I had it in my hand. I counted it down. I was like, all right, here's the key. Take it down the road and back. Tell me what you think. He took it down the road. As he was coming back, he wrecked the bike pulling into the driveway. <laughs> so I was like, yep, you, you most definitely bought that bike now, kiddo. So immediately, I didn't really want to sell the uh, the Jixer, but the dude fucking wrecked it in my driveway. <laughs> uh, have I ever played Rainbow Six Siege? Um, I've played it, but not not much. I was actually disappointed in Siege. I mean, like when it comes to Rainbow Six, I keep thinking like you know Rainbow Six Vegas One, Rainbow Six Vegas Two, the original Rainbow Six games. And Siege is nothing but a competitor shooter. There's no story to it. There's no um, what I used to in a Rainbow Six game. I think Ubisoft did a bad job with 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 that game. And that's that's because I'm coming from like the the original Rainbow Six games, right? And then it goes to that, and it's like, ugh. So this is where you would use plants and stuff for the person who asked where do you use the plants. You go to a bivouac, you sit down at a campsite, you go to craft. Once you're at craft, it would have a bunch of different things pop up. Normally the plants and stuff would be over here in the ration section. Um, you will... I can't remember how you do this. Oh wait, yeah, it's in your skill tree. You will eventually uh, learn like how to craft like more rations and like more explosives and stuff. It's in your skill tree. Reload speed. What? Damage resistance. What? That's insane. I haven't used any of these ever. Uh. Do you think Ghost Recon will have episode three? Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, the AI teammates might come with episode 3. I don't know. My question is, are they ever going to bring the uh, Faction Mission Battle Pass back? That'd be dope. That was like the only thing I was grinding for when they had the Battle Pass. Because they had all like the, the unlocks and stuff. So I was like, I want to play this game to unlock this stuff. And I think if they brought the Battle Pass back, it would make people who still play the game play it more so they can unlock those unlocks but Ubisoft is stupid Ubisoft doesn't know marketing apparently man you have had a hell of a bike experience yes I have <laughs> uh, I mean I know there's people out there that's had more bikes than me whatever whatever but um my experience is my experience I guess I've I've been riding motorcycles for years man my favorite thing to do is go about 120 around a curve. 
Even though that's a exaggeration because that's how people talk. Everyone's like, oh yeah, dude, I do 180 round curves. No, the fuck you don't. Um... Now, I'm not going to lie, I've done 120 around a curve before, but it wasn't like a sharp curve. It was a curve. Nonetheless, I have it in one of my motorcycle videos. I think it's in my uh, motorcycle cinematic video called Summer's Calling. Go check that video out. I think I have it in that video of me doing like 120 around a curve. Keep it real. It's on. It's on my channel. It should be in the cinematic playlist, but it's. It should also be on like my home page. Just scroll down, look for it. It's called <laughs> Summer's Calling. I know it's the name of it, and it's a motorcycle music cinematic video. That's that's all I know. Now, at the time, there was a lot of modifications to my R6 that I haven't done, so my bike looks different now than it does in that video. If I'm remembering correctly, uh, that is true. Ubisoft is stupid. Yeah, Ubisoft. I mean, if I could just sit down in a room with all the people in Ubisoft to come up with these ideas, I would like. You know what? If I could legally slap you, I would. Every single one of you. And then I'm gonna tell you how it is, and I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be. And we're gonna get this done. But for monetization purposes, you follow the speed limit and don't condone speeding. I have no comment on that. <coughs> I wonder, since I already know, since I've done this before, I wonder if I just straight up, like, go over there. If it were allowing me to do that. Like, do I even have to go down there and talk to some some chick? I don't know. How does the stream look? The stream look good. Everything on my side looks good. I don't know how the stream looks for for all of you. So I'm gonna try to skip. I'm gonna try to skip the uh, that little um, housing area and go straight for that cave and see if the game allows me to do that. I don't know. I've never tried. The crazy thing is, for this, for this to be a like a beginning mission it is very crazy that they have the uh, the player try to stealth infiltrate this compound because this compound it's not hard but the route that they try to force you to take is a very difficult route and it's like why are you trying to make people take this route but then again if people have their HUD on and stuff it's not that big of a deal but when I play no HUD, the hardest difficulty settings that you can possibly have in the game, then taking this route can indeed be um, difficult. Where's the cave at? I think the cave's over here. Perfect, no problems. Awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah, here's the cave. I think I heard someone... Make some breathing noises. I need to stop that. Have you ever come to India? No, I've never left the United States. Hmm. 
I think my audio is lagging. Yeah. Hang on. Let me see something about that. Uh, it would be desktop 100. Close. No. It's getting close. So I don't know why it does this, but like, it's like if I stream for a certain amount of time, eventually the, the audio gets delayed. So I'm trying to mess with it right now. It's, I don't understand though. I can hear it getting better. It's just, it's not working. I haven't got the setting proper yet. Nah, I think that just made it go back even more. Okay. Nope. I don't know why it does that, man. Uh. 100. That should be right. Right? Hell, I don't know. 200? Nope. Close. Not there yet. Hang on, I'm just trying to make sure the audio is on point for y'all. That was almost there. God damn it, this is very annoying. Man, why? I don't understand these freaking numbers. Super delayed. Nope. <laughs> I don't understand. Why, man? Why does it do this? OBS, you suck. Major donkey poo. I almost said something else, but I might get demonetized for saying it. Hang on, let me let me see here. Uh, have you ever come to India? No, I haven't. I'm having some audio desync right now. I'm just trying to fix it. Is all. Uh, I can't get it to. I can't get it to work. I think what I need to do is. Audio uh, output? Is it output? Uh, speakers? I don't think that's right, to be honest with you. I don't think that's right. No. Hello. No, that's, yeah, that doesn't work at all. I'm sorry, I don't mean to do this I just I really don't want you to have a bad experience with audio I can't I just can't get it to work I don't know why I did that it hasn't dropped frames it hasn't done nothing why does the audio in OBS straight up suck I don't know it's uh I mess with it later I suppose oh my gosh Are y'all actually having audio issues? Like, are y'all hearing an audio delay? Because I'm hearing an audio delay. But that's the crazy thing. I wasn't hearing an audio delay the entire time until now. Let's go ahead and make this easy on me. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? There it is. Go ahead and mark everybody, right? That's what everybody does, right?
See, when it comes to infiltrating this compound here, I would much rather come from above, not under. Because when you have multi-levels multi like this, you want to go down, not up. Nope. On my side, everything's looking fine. Huh. Why am I having an audio delay? That's weird. This is a heavy here. On oh, my side too. Well, thank y'all for uh, giving me that information. I, for some reason, I started having, like, I would shoot the gun and I would hear it like a second later. I was having this issue last night. I thought I had fixed it. Apparently not. heard who what you telling me that this drone is like three four levels above me it's heard me walking day, My name that's is insane Eaton, and this is Aroa now and tomorrow stay tuned I've never experienced that before check your settings I was checking my settings everything fine everything's a perfect setting just for some reason I just started having a uh, an audio lag where everything was like a second second late uh, give me this collectible thank you Now the only main issue here is that freaking drone. If that drone wasn't flying around, I could easily sneak up this. But with that drone flying around, I risk it spotting me and I risk it spotting a dead body. So I gotta be super careful with uh, what I do here. And the weapon I'm using isn't a one shot kill to a drone. So if I start shooting it, it's more likely going to uh, alert the base before I actually take it down. Someone coming down those steps? Oh, good. I don't think I need to boot this body. I don't think the uh, drone will see it. But I'm going to anyways to be safe. It's so weird playing with HUD on. I know I said that earlier, but it it is. It's like a whole different game. Ooh, an M4. Yes. I should probably use the MK17 to take out that drone, though. Blackhawk Patrol Gloves, that's pretty dope. Pretty dope indeed. I think I'm gonna wait for that drone to circle around, maybe? I wanna take the drone out. That's what I wanna do. I don't have EMPs. I wonder if it can see me right here. It probably would. Right here would probably be safer. Uh. 
at him. Should be good to go. That drone's coming back around. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, it heard my noise? That is so messed up, man. <laughs> my character was just throwing his body up against the wall and the drone heard it. That is some. Um, Honky, honky shit, man. Some honky donkey, man. Some BS is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I forgot how to check this stuff. Oh. Uh, I am running out of options. No doubt Walker has realized that I've crossed him by now. My only course seems clear. I need to go into hiding and simultaneously devise a way to maintain control and retaliate. If I manage to stay online, I can still prevail. If I somehow manage to take control of the Auroran drones, I would master the island. They must be connected to point zero. I need to test... Run the connection to see future or wide availability. For that, I need to establish a connection with a drone testing area. The one in Vin Bog would do nicely. So this is the reason why you have to go and um, destroy that, destroy that one drone over here in this area. Pretty interesting. Like I know a lot of people probably get all this intel stuff and don't even read it, but if you actually read it. It actually does add some, you know, story to the story. <laughs> I mean, I think that's the big thing about this game. It was so driven on you doing what you wanted to do, but also kind of guiding you. Because, like, you know, it has the whole guided and then the not guided setting. So, honestly, the majority of the story, and this is what people don't realize, is actually in those intel pieces. It's unfortunate because it means I have to freaking read, but that's where the majority of the story is, which is insane. But I guess I would rather read all those intel pieces than watch like 30 minutes of horrible cinematic animations. Is there a helicopter over here somewhere? Just fly somewhere? I can't remember if this place has a helicopter or not. Yeah, up there. Uh, have you done the raid? It's been forever since I've done the raid. And every time I did the raid, man, it would freaking just give me the same crap that I already had. So it was just a waste of my time. I honestly thought it was stupid. I mean, cool concept, sure, yeah, whatever. But at the same time, it's like... Dude, there was one time I played the raid for like... However many hours. And I think I live streamed this, I could be wrong. But I played the raid for, like, all day. And I beat it, you know, however many times. And it gave me the same crap. I maybe unlocked, like, one or two new things out of beating it three times. But everything else, it just gave me the same crap. And one time I did it with Assault. Uh, one time I did it as Medic. Because I was trying to get the Medic headpiece. And then uh, one of the dudes was like, try it again as medic, see if you get the headpiece this time. I did it as medic again, and I got the exact same rewards that I did the previous time. And I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing the freaking raid. This is stupid. I don't, I don't, I don't like how things are only unlocked through the raid. Because it's like a random chance if you're going to unlock something or not. I just feel like it's a waste of time. Uh, I hope you're not serious with my iPhone thing. I was just kidding, bro. What are you talking about? My iPhone thing? 
Uh, I don't know what you're talking about with iPhone. Uh, do you like the 805 Bryn? I don't know. I don't have any thoughts on it. Can you show us your settings? What do you want to? What do you want to see? Can I parachute from this? Oh yeah, I don't have parachutes. Oh man, I totally forgot about my freaking skill tree. I haven't put anything in my skill tree. Nah, I'm gonna keep the M4, bro. Thank you. Let me see. Uh, so the Vin reached Brown home today. Okay, so this is where I have to go to talk to um Hill, right? Home studio sort of troubled by unusually high drone activity. No, that's the that's that one place. The sirens call. Yeah, that was this one is the sirens call. I think that's like a pre order bonus mission, I think. I can't remember. I mean, there's nothing special about it. Check on Holt. Finn, Finn Bog. Uh, check my early comment. Which which one? I'm playing the game, man. Just tell me what you said. Nope, on my side, everything's looking fine. Indy, what, what settings do you want to see? Sensitivity? Uh, my sensitivity... I don't know if this is going to blow your mind or not. I don't know. But this is my sensitivity. Cursor speed is just the whole menu thing. I wish I could use my mouse in this because using my thumbstick for this is... I don't know. I just don't like it. Scroll speed. But the speed... The sensitivity, the thing that you want to see, and a lot of other people want to see, is my actual end game sensitivity. I use the advanced sensitivity. X, Y axis is 85. X, Y axis look acceleration is 5. X, uh, X, Y axis aim sensitivity, first person is 70. Um, aim acceleration, first person is 2. Aim sensitivity third person is 70 and aim acceleration third person is a uh, two sniper scopes is 65 sniper scopes acceleration is zero this stuff uh, I, I leave on only because like if I do something that is supposed to cause a vibration but my controller doesn't vibrate it lets me know that hey my controller is probably fixing to die. I only leave vibration on to let me know if my controller is dying or not. Uh, a dead zone for both sticks is none. Aim assist is off. I do not use aim assist at all in any game when I use a, a controller. Um, I don't use aim assist. Driving look sensitivity you probably don't matter. That probably doesn't matter. Drone look sensitivity. The drone look sensitivity, I actually go up and down with this one a lot if I'm trying to use the drone for like a cinematic shot for a video. Sometimes I lower it to like 25. Uh, but it normally stays around like 30, 35. Helicopter, it, that doesn't really matter to be honest to me. I, I don't think I've touched this one. Airplane, I'm rarely ever in an airplane, man. I don't, I think I've only gotten in an airplane once. But yeah, that's my sensitivity settings in case anybody wanted to see that. And I need to put some skill points in my perks. And do I want Echelon? Wait, these are free. I don't even have to use uh, skill points for these. That's crazy. I'm going with Echelon for now, just because it was free. <laughs> uh, night Vision, a Parachute, 
and uh, recon mastery. Sure, I don't know. I mean, since I'm just doing a chill playthrough of the campaign, you know, I'm just gonna leave the HUD on. So all these skills, I guess, would be kind of actual useful. They need to add new skills, man. Thanks, that's actually useful. Tommy Walker, nice. Thank you. Not sure what you're referring to. So this is the place right here. Did I get a parachute? I think I did. Yeah. Oh my god. Pull the parachute out of the helicopter's uh, cargo cabinet, man. That's how I roll. Look at that. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Everybody just so amazed at how I can parachute like that. Everybody's like, oh man, when I try to do that, I die every time. Who was here last night? Was it Rage? Rage Gaming? Was it you that was here last night? Or was it Prince? It was one of y'all two that was here last night when I um, did like an insane parachute landing on that rooftop. I don't know, man. It's just... <laughs> I don't know. I guess my... I don't know how to describe it, man. I just... My eyes sees the speed I'm going. Sees the ground. And I just automatically know exactly when to pull the parachute. It's like my eyeballs are just doing math in my head so fast. I don't know. I'm just making... Maybe that is it. I don't know. I'm just seeing numbers. Seeing numbers just fly by. I'm gonna eat some dinner, uh, BRB. Alright, man. Remind, reminds me, I need to eat some dinner soon. And so that drone is here. G skill activated the drone in this area. That thing will have a GPS card that'll help me track the signal. Can you put a suppressor on this? Yes. Where's that sniper at? Hey, are you playing with subs? I'll join it. No, I'm not. Not this stream, man. I'm just doing, uh, just doing, um, just doing the playthrough of the campaign again, is all. I will be doing streams with subs. Just not this one. Yeah, him. Someone over there. Someone right there. Should I shoot that guy? I don't know. I don't see anywhere around him, so I should be able to take that guy out pretty easily. But I don't really need to use the sniper for that guy. I could easily get my M4 back and just move over there and then take him out. I'm looking for snipers. I uh, keep keep us posted. Can't with squad up, like it's man. Thank you. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Um, I will be playing with Patreons way more than I will play with subscribers. Um, I recently updated my Patreon tier list and stuff like that. I'm not saying you have to become a Patreon or anything like that because to become a Patreon, you do have to pay money. But if anybody is interested in like just supporting the channel with you know three dollars a month or anything like that, my Patreon link should be in the description. Uh, but speaking of playing with people, I will have like special streams maybe once, maybe twice a month. 
uh, with subscribers. It would probably just be once a month. But Patreons, if you are a Patreon that is subscribed to the tier where you can play with me, I would be doing like three, four, depending on how much time I have during the month, I would be doing multiple, multiple streams where I play with Patreons. I keep forgetting to mention that uh, because I'm like, if people, you know, people, you know, a big fan and they're willing to freaking, you know, pay to play with me, then yeah, I'm most definitely putting them higher priority to everybody else. But I think I set the limit to 20 people. So only 20 people can be subscribed to that tier. So not everybody can. But, I mean, I, it's just a thought that I had because I was like, you know, I would like to play with subscribers, but I also would like to play with pa Patreons. What's the point of the Patreons paying their good, hard, unearned money if I play with subscribers who play with me for free? So, Patreons, I would play with them. I know in the tier description, I have like, I think I have it like twice a month, but that was before I started streaming. So now since I'm actually streaming, and I'm going to be streaming a lot more often, uh, I'm probably going to be trying to play with Patreons, like, at least, I want to say four times a month, but it could be 12 times a month. It all depends on the game, the mood I'm in, everything like that. But I did set that limit to 20 people, so only 20 people can become that tier uh, on Patreon. Only because, you know, I don't know how people are. I don't know how big wallet some people have some people can be like oh man I got mil millions of dollars I'm gonna pay it to be a I mean I'm not saying somebody does have a million dollars but I'm not saying someone doesn't I'm just saying someone could be like you know I don't know what I'm saying all I'm saying is I just didn't want the uh, patreon list to get up to like 50 people 100 people because that's like a hundred people I would have to try to play with like multiple multiple times a month so for right now I thought well maybe a, a 20 person limit for this Patreon would be good and if any um, are really already active uh, Patreons are watching right now for the ones who are already subscribed to that tier I will be playing with you. Uh, I can't shoot through that. I was supposed to play with two Patreons today. Oh, th that was a headshot. That was a headshot, my guy. Bro, the dude got shot in the face and didn't die. Never in my life. Uh... But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, are you planning on having one primary weapon only throughout the campaign? Yes. I do plan on having only one primary throughout this playthrough of the campaign. Uh, Prince, it's me, bro. Yeah, I remember that jump. Yes, yeah, see? I told you. Somebody. I'm not crazy. Somebody was here and witnessed that live. I'm looking at chat to see what's going on. Nothing's going on. You guys, you guys are nerds. Apparently, YouTube sent me this notification thing in my email, and it was trying to tell me about something called Super Chat. I don't know. I don't know what the heck Super Chat is. I don't even see Super Chat on my side. Any plans for today? Next gameplay. Um, uh, today, what I would probably do is probably once I hit the three hour mark because I've been playing for the past two hours now once I hit the three hour mark maybe the uh, three and a half hour mark I would probably take a break go eat relax uh, come back and I'll probably jump back on uh, State of Decay to be honest I've just really wanted to play State of Decay that's the freaking drone I need it ignite if I shoot this guy, is that drone going to react to it? That's the question. Nope. So the thing is, 
Especially this mission when you have to like extract data from the uh from that um drone. Even as an echelon class and this shock pistol like takes it out of commission, you still have to um eliminate the drone. You still have to destroy the drone. And there is no way to completely eliminate a drone without it just exploding. Uh, super chat is where people donate some money. Oh, okay. See, YouTube didn't freaking tell me that. YouTube was just like, hey, don't forget about super chat when you're live streaming. Make sure you tell your audience about it. And I'm like, what the hell is super chat? Why well, want to tell my people about super chat if I'm reading comments anyways? It didn't tell me anything about people donating money. It just say that people can use super chat if, um,. Like if there's a lot of comments going on, or if I'm just not reading comments, because apparently people stream and don't read comments at all. That's insane. I didn't know that. Someone behind me. Yep. And it was like, oh, you can get your people to do super chat if they have a very important message or question for you, something like that. I don't know. I didn't know. Oh, that drone's gonna see me! Oh, no. I forget I have the Echelon class. I thought I was the Panther class for a moment. The Panther class, when you, when you grab somebody like that, you move freaking fast. So I'm just gonna back up. I hate these shotgun guys. Like, really, really, bro? You're just gonna run at me like that? You stupid. I'm just gonna back up. Scratch my nose a little bit. Regret my life decisions on everything. Uh, but yeah, I play Panther. Panther's my main. So I've, I'm just so used to grabbing somebody and moving really fast when you run with them. And I was, I was thinking I could get behind that wall before that drone could spot me, but Echelon class apparently doesn't move fast when you grab somebody. But I have a, um, oh, YouTube also suggested, like, oh, remind your viewers about Super Chat if, uh, they have, you know, a request, they can use Super Chat, and I'm like, okay. But like I said, YouTube didn't tell me anything about it being a money donation thing. But that is interesting. I guess if anybody did want to donate, they could use Super Chat. I have a, a link in the description to like Streamlab donations, but if you can just donate through Super Chat, there's no there's no reason for me to even have that Streamlab donation. I guess that makes it easier. Can I shoot this? I can. Such a good freaking shot. Any old games that you still play? Does Fallout 4 count? Does Fallout 3 count? I still play Fallout 3 uh, and Fallout New Vegas. Uh, Fallout 3 is the only Fallout that I haven't beaten. I've beaten New Vegas. I've beaten 4 many, many times, but Fallout 3 is the only one that I haven't um, beaten. So... The Fallout games I would be streaming as well too, because I just freaking love Fallout. I don't care what anybody says about 76, I love it. People talk crap about Breakpoint all the time, and yet, here I am. It's all about what you want in the game, man. I tell people all the time, fuck what other people think. What do you like? You know? I don't know, some people just don't understand that. They're like, oh, nobody likes it, everybody talks crap about it. Fuck him. We must have got him. Frank, twenty twenty. out here. We just took contact. Don't let him catch you sleeping. Sleeping? You did. <laughs> funny. I thought it was funny. Heavy so so easy to kill, man.
I'm gonna clear out this helo pad because I'm probably gonna hop in this helo. Not right now, just whenever I uh, get the objective here, I'm gonna hop in the helo. I've never tried any follow on game though, I have mixed opinions on it. Well, if you never tried a follow on game, then you can't have opinions at all. That's what I think. It's like. It's like uh, Gatorade, for example. My favorite Gatorade right now, actually, I'm going to be honest with you, because I just found a Gatorade that I didn't even know existed until my fiance showed it to me. It's a green apple Gatorade. Green apple anything. I just, I love green apple. Green apple is my favorite flavor. But um, before I discovered that one, it was the, uh, the cool blue. I don't know why it just was. I just really liked it. But anyways... There was another one. I think it, um, there's my fiance. She likes her favorite one is, I think, um, she likes the grape one, but I think her favorite one is the orange one, but she got one the other day that was grape flavored and she was like, you want to try this? And I was like, no, I don't want to try that. I hate grape. Grape flavored. Anything is just the gross unless it's actual grapes because actual grapes are the bomb. Anyways. The point is, I don't like grape. She likes grape. I tried to get her to not get the grape because I didn't like it. But it doesn't matter what I like or don't like. She likes it. It was going to be for her. It wasn't for me. Who am I to tell her not to buy something that she likes and I, that I don't like if I'm not the one drinking it? It's like video games. You know what I'm saying? What what's a good game I can use for a uh, example here? Breakpoints. I mean, Breakpoints an example. Uh, everybody on the internet is like, "Oh, Breakpoints the worst trash game ever." Why do you play it? Cause I like it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like the game, don't play it. Cool. I like the game, so I'm playing it. Get off my dick. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I keep looking at chat and then looking at my left monitor. I have three monitors up for anybody who doesn't know. Left monitor is my OBS and my Elgato. Show me the playback from those two programs. Everything looks perfectly, beautifully smooth, 1080p, 60fps. My middle monitor is my gaming monitor. My right monitor is the stream and the chat, so I'm seeing... I'm just constantly looking back and forth. This is why, like, my gameplay right now during the live stream isn't, like, as perfectly and smooth as it is when you watch my recordings. Because when I'm recording, I'm just recording me play. But <laughs> this live stream, I'm just so... I'm, I'm just constantly looking back and forth through my three monitors. I think I need to move over here. I mean, I could probably just take this drone out, right, with a shock pistol. And then destroy it. Why was there an explosion? I'm confused here. <laughs> that was a waste of a shock pistol. Why was they? Why was there an explosion? Was there? There was. Was there a fire? Fire barrel next to it. That was a fucking waste of a goddamn shock pistol. Oh my! What the hell? I'm so disappointed. I'm not disappointed in myself. I'm never disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in the game. Okay. Did I say I like Breakpoint? I'm taking that back. If I could slap Breakpoint in the face, I would. Let me see here. I don't have night. I thought I unlocked night vision. Oh, uh, I didn't unlock it for the drone. That makes sense. Is there anybody in here? No. Sometimes there's people inside this tower. Range Gaming, I'm back. What's up? That was quick. Unless it wasn't quick. I don't know. Was it quick? Man, if that 
Man, 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 man. <laughs> That's all I can say is man. I'm just so disappointed. Why did why did that explode when I shot it with a shock pistol? Was my question. Civilian killed. Oh my god, I can't see. Oh my god. That didn't work. Dude, heal yourself. I'm pressing the heal button. Can you not heal? Do I not have bandages? I don't have bandages. Here we go. This is why I hate drones, man. <laughs> Bro, you can still see me? Go boys. Saul is that a shot a shotgun? Nope. I swear the shotgun guys in this game is just so suicidal. Oh, what the fuck? How do you even know where I am? All because of that damn barrel exploded, I'm telling you. Damn shock pistol. <coughs> These drones are gonna surround me. That drone right there is not moving. Why are you getting on the wall? Come on, reload. Hey drone, you have any bandages on you? It'd be a lot cooler if you did. Just saying. Oh my god, what the hell's going on? I've never been injured this long before, so I don't know what that was. We're experiencing all new things together. How do you even get bandages? Do you craft those? Oh man, my headache. I'm getting a headache from all this pain. It's insane. Are there any bandages in here? Can I wet, wrap my room with a mouse? Dude, m my character has... My character's freaking out. Can I call can I call my mommy? Can I call my daddy? Can I call for some reinforcements on this freaking cell phone? Can I call for you should be able to heal with syringes. I I can't. I am critically injured. When you get cri critically injured, you have to bandage to use a syringe. So I can't do anything. This is literally all I can do. I'm gonna get in the shop and show them. Show them what's up. Oh my god, dude, bro. What? That doesn't even make sense. This is Mitchell, I'm five minutes out. Oh man.
This is what you do when you get injured. You just hop in a hop in a helo. This is some Rambo shit, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Get critically injured, have no no way to heal yourself. You hop in a chopper and blow everything up. My man, my guy is literally bleeding out inside this pilot seat, and he's perfectly he's able to fly around perfectly and blow everything up. I feel like I'm a better pilot when I don't have HUD on. I think I'd be able to actually hit my target when I have uh, the crosshair. There we go. Got him. I don't know where to get bandages though. Uh, can I land here safely? Prop. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Uh, you can find bandages, the god of stealth. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, if that barrel didn't explode. But then I did shoot a rocket launcher at that other drone. I don't know why. I honestly thought you could take out a drone with one rocket launcher. <coughs> I haven't used a rocket launcher on a drone forever. Did I get the thing? Oh, wait, no. Aw, oh, man, I do not want to, have to walk my slow butt up those steps. No, where, uh, where's a bivouac at? I think a bivouac might help the... Uh, Situation. I think you can craft bandages. You want to fight a war, you need to become a war. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be, I gotta go walk my dog. Oh, what? That's what I get for reading chat. That's what I get for reading chat. That's, that's, that's what I get for trying to take off on a helicopter and read chat at the same. Oh my god. Perfect gameplay. Okay, can I fast travel while critically injured? I don't think you can. No, you can. Crazy. Doesn't make sense. But you can. But now it's became... What is that? Bat 21 movie? So you can fast travel while critically injured, by the way. I did not know that. I rarely ever get critically injured. So, learning something new. It's pretty interesting. But going to Air One like this, it should just you think this immediately heal me. Yeah, I should be immediately healed. Oh my god, my character's still screaming. There's no way. <laughs> There's, I, I was totally wrong. Yeah, I know how you feel, whoever is over there screaming. Yeah, I have... How am I supposed to heal, though? Oh. I guess he just... Pulls out a random... Bandage? Syringe? What's going on here? Oh! But where? I don't see anything. That would have probably been a lot more badass if I actually saw the knife and the bullet. I've never seen that animation before. Yeah, let me just set Indian style with my leg bandaged up like that. That's not right. Uh, I guess, well, I have syringes. Bandage, so you can craft bandages, but 
You need exotic medicinal plant. Where the hell do you get that at? Interesting. Now I just need to go back. Nope. Fight? Nope, not really. Uh, I don't think there's a bivouac anywhere around here. That I have unlocked. Poop. Did I get a shock pistol back? How did you get your shock pistol? How do you get ammo for the shock pistol? And that is one thing that I do not have an answer to. I don't know if anybody does. How do you get shock pistol ammo? Okay, so I need to get in here, get in the chopper, fly back, hook up the link to that computer, and then I'll be good to go. Stupid rocket launcher, useless, straight up useless. Do I have anything to replace you with? <gasps> I do. I have my flashbangs. Fantastic. Okay, man. See you later. If you make any plan for State of Decay, throw a notification. All right, I will. I should be streaming State of Decay uh, like an hour from now. Cause there's probably like 40 minutes left of this stream, and then I'm gonna jump off. Take a break, eat some food, jump back on for some state of decay. FedEx UB, Frank, you're my favorite. Thank you. I appreciate that. I do like being the favorite. But sometimes. Sometimes you're not the favorite. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. See, I wonder if the. I don't think so. But just. Yeah, so the enemies did respawn. That's crazy. Oh well. I mean, all I'm doing is sneaking up to that computer and then getting out. I don't have to... See, I hate missions where it's like, oh, you have to destroy this drone. That's what I hate. Because there's no way to stealthily destroy a drone. The only thing you can do is destroy it, you know. Hit it with the EMP, hit it with a shock pistol. Throw a couple pounds of C4 on it, back away from it, and detonate said C4. It explodes. The explosion alerts the base. People run to the uh, explosion. They look for you. And then you just hide until the base go calms down. Kind of. Ah. Uh, uh, at least it's not moving though. Shouldn't spot me. Yeah, that sniper's back. I hate some of these fences because I swear it feels like you just get trapped. Some of these fences you can't cut through and you can't, uh... That drone would probably spot me if I try to climb this. Unfortunate. So what I need to do is get up on that uh, top level, but from a side where they're not going to spot me.
I don't even need to kill this guy. But I'm going to anyways. Uh, let's see, do I have C4? To be honest. I don't. Ah, that's something I need to get. Oh, wait. Can I put something here? Do I have anything to put here? Oh, I do. Oh, wow. Uh, alright then, see you, uh, alright then, see you there, buddy. I, like I said, it'll probably be an hour or two from now. Because even when I get done with this, I'll probably be off for like 30, 40 minutes eating and taking a break or whatever. Uh, Brady Bell, Frank, you are the best YouTuber ever. I don't believe it. Oh, here's the lighter. Gotta be above, right? Yeah. I can't grasp how much money Skull has. I'm getting stuck. Oh, is he on top? No, he's right there. I can say I don't see this guy. I picked up another drone and I picked up <laughs> binoculars. But I already had him. Yeah, I, I need to get up there too, to be honest. I need to get up there and get those two things. Now, to link up with Hill and figure out what's next. Yeah, I need to go talk to Hill as well. Man, it's so crazy how Hill just betrays you so easily. It's like, man, what the hell? Don't even make sense. Hill just betrays you so fast. Like, bro, what about a bond, man? See those two guys. Um, I don't see anybody else over there. So I should be able to kill these two guys pretty easily. I bet Skull's villa is bigger than most castles. Oh shit! Hostiles are engaged! What? You lying to me right now? This guy, his head, invisible. Bullets go through it. I hate shotgunners. That's a step tip for you. If you're fixing to shoot two guys and one of them's a shotgun guy, shoot him first. The shotgunner's AI in this game is, uh, <coughs> bitches. <laughs> Buddy? Buddy? Discovered a new bib, right? The sniper shouldn't hear me climbing up this ladder. Nope. They need to have different knife animations, man. Just out of tired, tired of the same one, same ones. weapon blueprint. The reason why I use the straight edge knife more than the uh, curve knife is because the, the animation is just faster for anyone who's wondering. I need to get over there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Does that drone not see me? Now it sees me? What? That don't make no sense. This game is broken. Every time I sprint in this game, I keep wanting to double tap uh, sprint. Because I played uh, Call of Duty so much recently. I keep trying to like do the uh, that tactical sprint. anything for me cuz ah, uh, he had bandages there we go so you can where that drone go there it is you can pick up bandages from dead enemies uh, dabbing hello people hello how are you doing what's up welcome to the stream how are you how is everybody in the stream right now how are all of y'all doing Check the disturbance. Could be scale. <laughs> yeah, could be scale. Shot out of light. Makes total sense. Jeez. All right. So now I can hop back in this bad boy, fly over to heal. And we'll be good to go. With this mission, anyways, this mission will probably be over. Wasn't that far. I honestly could just ran over here, save time, or just take the helicopter. could see my face right now I swear you would be uh, you would you would feel the same thing disappointment in this game <laughs> why didn't my character get out maybe I pressed the wrong button maybe that's what it was but still this still I'm very upset about that at least I'm here right yeah, God, that doesn't... Oh, my God. Why did the helicopter not fucking stop? I hate this game with a passion. I'm never playing it again. As I continue to play it. Josiah, what is this? I found some of the others. Johnson. Weaver. They were good men. What is Walker after? He's lost it. Ever since that shit went down with Vaughn, I should have stopped him then. You know, Vaughn was worthless. Sure. But it didn't have to go down that way.
What did you do? There was, uh... I thought someone was gonna shoot me. This is our village, Vaughn. These are fucking allies. She had a weapon. Yeah, she had a gun. Well, I don't see no fucking gun. No, she had a weapon. See? She left me no choice. You gotta be kidding me. You're done. You have wasted too much of my fucking time as it is. No, you can't do this to me. You did this to you. No, this is your fault! You kept riding me! Oh, Christ. Pushing me! You don't! You don't! Oh, man, my dad is gonna hear what you did to me. You fucking worm. You cry to your daddy? That what you're gonna do? Every single time you fuck up, you put the blame on someone else, don't you? Anytime you're in trouble, you just wait for that daddy of yours to swoop on in, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Your daddy, he ain't here. Fuck you. I'm a good soldier. I'm a good soldier! You are a worthless fucking human being. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on. Vaughn, give me your weapon. Come on. Walker. I've had enough. He was done. Well, now he's done. Besides, if I didn't kill that worthless poke, old village might have come after us. Hey, this ain't right, Walker! Damn. I actually kind of forgot about this cutscene. You know the rest. I know you didn't testify. You kept him out of the brig. I should have said something. Then we wouldn't be in the shit storm. No. You did good. Tell that to my soldiers he just shot. Find anything at Skull? This was in the computer lab. What? Uh, the prologue shows a series of recent instructions directed. Uh, an extract of J Skull search in a journal. I'm running out of options. No, I think I've already read that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Well, that underground lab must still be in one piece. Let's go check it out. I don't know. I want to recon Walker's men. Find out what he's after. You see any familiar faces? Don't assume they're friendly. You too. We'll link up back here. And then you never do. Because he'll betrays you. Perfect. I did like the freaking camo he had on his weapon. I think he had an M4. Yeah, he had an M4. Gold? Nah, I think he had khaki. Because I don't have khaki unlocked for this character, so I can't throw khaki on. 
but I can throw in khaki netting. Right? Renew the paint. Barrel black. Magazine black. Muzzle. Thrill. Black. Scope. Black. He honestly had almost everything that I normally put on. Suppressor. Uh, I, have I used the comp for? I think I have. Uh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, here's this place. Might as well go ahead and move on over. Should I drive? Is my helicopter still here? I don't think it is. Can I climb this? Yeah. Steel toed boots. Fascinating. Oh yeah, my helicopter's not here because it freaking killed me. That's right. I should have known. Everybody's betraying me. Rage Gang, I am back. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, you went to go walk your dog. I think. I just completed that mission, watched the cutscene. Everything was good, everything was great. But yeah, for the ones who don't know or who missed it, I, uh, I'm just doing a quick chill playthrough of the campaign to refresh my memory of the story and all that and whatnot. I'm not trying to be perfect or none of that crap, obviously, have you seen as my helicopter crushed me to death. I might do a second playthrough later, maybe, I doubt it, on, mm, I, yeah, I don't really see myself doing it, but I mean, it's a good thought, um, trying to do another playthrough and actually take it very serious, and have it on extreme, no HUD, uh, immersive mode, but I don't think, I don't think I will, I don't know, I guess it would depend on if, Y'all want to see that? Right now, I just chill, chill playthrough. I've already beat this game. Uh, playing through the whole thing on extreme. If you're gonna stream again tonight, that'd be dope. Either State of Decay or this. Uh, I will be streaming again later. Um, I'm at a two hour. I am currently at two hours and forty four minutes of this stream right now. I was going to go to like maybe three hours and then I was going to end the stream, take a break, come back, and I was probably going to play some State of Decay. I might play Dragon Ball Kakarot, to be honest. I keep telling myself to play it, but I don't know if I will. We'll see. I might play Call of Duty. Who knows? I might do the uh, Special Ops. Special Operations or the Spec Ops in Call of Duty. I might do the campaign. Or I might play some Ground War in Call of Duty. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like when I get back. It's pretty much... It's whatever I feel like. I probably won't be playing this... I can only take an I can only take so much Ghost Recon Breakpoint in one day. Rana, uh, the Hava Rana. I hope I said your name correctly. If I didn't, I apologize. Uh, finished everything there is to do in this game recently, and essentially just waiting for new content. Same. 
I'm the same way. That's why I'm doing a new playthrough. Because uh, my main character, I've already completed everything. So I started this new character just to do a playthrough of the campaign, refresh my memory of uh, everything that's happened. And then um, when new content comes out, switch back over to my main character. But that's also why I have the HUD on and stuff because this is just a chill play stream. I've already beat the I've already beat the whole game on extreme and no HUD. And I'm just kinda not in the mood to take it so serious right now. Someone might be behind that wall. I don't want to shoot this guy if someone is. Yeah, see? There he is. How strange is that? Let's go look. Oh my god. I normally don't play with crosshairs, and now with I have crosshairs on, my aim is horrible. What is going on? Maybe it's because I'm so used to not having crosshairs. Who knows? Uh, I'll be here for the whole stream. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Rage gaming. Um... But yeah, honestly, I mean, I'm kind of down to play some Call of Duty. But at the same time, I also really wanted to play Kakarot, you know. But at the same time, I really want to see how DeVito's doing, you know. I want to see what DeVito's doing with her life. Is she still blasting everybody? Is she still blasting all the zombies? That's my question. Uh, you should do a lowdown for going aloud if you like doing that all at all. Uh, I probably will. If I do, it won't be with this character. It would be on my main character that actually has everything unlocked. Uh, she stay blasting. I swear, that's all she be doing. That's all she be doing. Blasting is her middle name. Dude, why, how am I missing the head when my crosshair is on the head? I don't understand that. Maybe it's because I'm so used to just using a, using a laser sight with no crosshair. Maybe that's it. I don't know. The crosshair is bigger than the laser sight is. <laughs> Damn, you dead. She basically has a slam fire shotgun that has affinity ammo. Oh, I know. You know, you know, DeVito, you know what she should do? She should play Doom. She will love Doom. <laughs> Doom is most definitely the game for DeVito. She has that freaking infinity ammo cheat, though. Say one thing though, although she was constantly blasting, she was doing nothing but shooting that one zombie in the butt for like five minutes straight. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was crazy. I've still I've never seen that in that game before. That was insane. So I think there's like three people in here now. Yeah. That dude, this dude, this guy. This guy, I have to kill this guy first no matter what. I'm killing I just got to wait for these guys to be uh 
and it, that was funny as fuck. I was laughing so loud at <laughs> Man, I, it was honestly hard not to laugh. It was crazy. And then she just like she had infinity ammo. Infinity oh. ammo. I mean, it was insane. That's why I was saying, like, if that zombie, if that, if the game was a little bit more detailed with, like, the gore, that zombie's butthole would be gone. That zombie would have had no butthole. I think it takes a left down this hall, right? Yeah. <laughs> the door closed just in time. I was gonna knife that guy. Honestly, I was waiting for him to get close enough, and I was just gonna rush him and knife him. But then I was like, nah. I think as soon as the door opening and you getting shot in the face is probably the worst case scenario. Yeah, those two nerds. Got one nerd far right of the room. Uh, I think it's just these three guys, right? I feel like, wasn't there used to be something else like right here? Did they remove that? Because I feel like I used to go all the way across the room. I don't think I can now. Did they remove a piece of, uh, object? I don't know, man. They probably did. Because I used to be able to get all the way right here with no trouble. And this is, this is where I would go. And I would kill these two guys first. Shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Move around. You don't want your bullet to... You don't want to shoot this guy first, because the guy in the back would see him. But at the same time, you've, if you have good aim, you can line it up to where you shoot him and shoot him. It doesn't really matter. But, if you decide to shoot the guy in the back first, before you shoot this guy, you don't want to have it to where your bullet passes this guy's head. So you... Because he would hear the bullet, so... I guess it doesn't matter. So what? It's so whatever. Just trying to give a few tips here. It's a whole one second behind. Are you talking about the audio, dude? People were saying the audio was fine. People were saying the audio was fine. Hang on. Everybody was telling me the audio was fine. I don't understand. Was everybody just lying to me? Offset. Uh, what about now? Check it on your monitor. Dude, the audio is fine for me. But I do see that it's... Why is that happening like that, man? I don't know what to do about that. That's the thing. I don't know what to do. Um, hang on. Let me see something here. Uh, video capture at this bad boy. Uh, Kabooey. Remove this one. Kabooey. Okay, so now there's no audio coming from it at all. Give me a sec. I'm messing with it to make sure everything is uh, working properly. Uh, ah, crap. Because everything is fine and dandy for me. 
Okay, so... What about now? Uh, I'm gonna shoot a few shots. Alright, how's it like now? Because now looking at it, it's actually... It's actually perfect. Is it good? Are you sure? Do I need to waste more freaking ammo for you? Alright, how about that? Can you keep up with it? Alright. Perfect. Alright, good. What about the what about the video quality itself? The resolution, the FPS. Is it buffering? Is it skipping? Is it pixelated? Is it crappy? Uh, because that, the video quality on my side is perfect. Like looking at the stream and the OBS, everything's perfect. The audio is the only thing that keeps messing up. Jay Scal, we know you're in there. Open this door before we knock it down. We're gonna get in there one way or another. You may as well come out nice and easy. Unless you want it rough. Huh? You like that, rich man? You want you want us to like slap you around and stuff? Would you like that, Mr. Moneybags? Dude, why are you going there? What? I'm being threatening. I'm trying to like be, be scary. Yeah, I, I don't think scary's your thing. Let me do the scary, alright? You just stand there. I can totally be scary. Jay Skell! If you do not open this door, we will enter in force. Do you understand? We will enter in force and mess you up, man. Oh, you're in trouble, rich man. Well, you think you're smart with your science? Well, we got you now, you, you, you rich son of a bitch. Please stop. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the audio does desync or even disappears, but that's an end game issue for me as well. The uh, the audio disappears sometimes. Uh, that is an end game thing, but the desync for the stream, uh, the Range Gaming has confirmed that it is fixed now. Just the test. I'm gonna shoot a bullet. Let me know if it's delayed or not. All right. Uh, the range game. What the fuck? I've never listened to this before. Yeah, man, dude. I discovered this dialogue a while ago. I think I made a short clip about it. It was, it was, it was hilarious the first few times I watched it. But <laughs> some stupid dialogue. J Skull. Come on, we gotta move. Shit. All right, listen. My name is Nomad. I'm part of a team sent here to see what the hell's going on with Aurora. Now, Maurice Fox said I could trust you. To be honest, I don't. But the people coming after you are trying to kill me. So what do you say we help each other? Is Fox working with Iyana Puri? The woman who took over as CEO? Who's working with those animals? No. No, he's in the cave with Matt Shells. Cave? You know what? It's it's cooler than it sounds. Come on, grab your stuff. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta move. It's my fault. All of this. I can fix it. Yeah. That's just the drones. Operation Citadel. Right now, Citadel's keeping people in. But we can use it to free Aurora. Hey, tell me. What does Walker have to do with any of this? Walker was our military advisor. He led the takeover of Aurora. All he wanted was the drones. I thought he was a friend. Yeah. yeah, I did too. Well, that just brings a tear to my eye. I used to think go, this cutscene was so badass when I first watched it. What the fuck? Hey, 
Walker. Josiah. Glad to see you, Nomad. Glad that you're still above ground. No thanks to your lack of trying. You have to know this is not personal. He has a reason for being here, and it makes sense. Josiah, don't be an idiot. That man is a traitor. He's a revolutionary. And we have a plan to make the world better. You killed my soldiers. You killed Weaver. We've chosen to become the warriors we were meant to be. Your masters, they just... They don't believe in anything. We'll make you an offer, Nomad. Hand over Jace. Join us. You gonna turn me over? No. Good old nomad. You always were righteous. That class is bulletproof. Like hell it is. We need to get out of here. That's the way out. We vent toxic fumes through there. It might kill us. They will definitely kill us. Cutscenes would probably be a lot better if my character didn't remove his hat and earpiece. You know what I'm saying? Alright, J Scale, let's get you the heck out of here. We good. Let's go. Let's get in the chopper. Alright. Well, Nomad's a body. Yeah, he is. This is the uh, Nomad figure, too, so it's not like I made him that way. I don't know why they made Nomad bald. I figured he would have, like, I don't know, a mohawk or something. I still don't understand why he Damn. couldn't have a hat None of this makes sense. in the cinematic scenes, I though. Know Josiah. He's one of the good guys. They were gonna kill me. Makes me wonder why the hell I don't. What? Hey, they, they took over the island, right? They stole my company. I'm one of the good guys. Yeah? Then why'd you sink that cargo ship? I just, the ship was taking drones off the island. These drones could be the most powerful weapon since the nuclear bomb. I had to decide. I had to stop it. Was anyone hurt? I was told a few crew members died. I'm sorry. I had to choose, you know? A few weeks ago, they field tested the drones in South Asia. They accidentally killed unarmed civilians. I tried to shut it all down. They were taking over the island. Sinking that cargo ship was my only option. I've seen what your drones can do. A few homesteaders and Scaltech employees were trying to leave the island by boat. No. What... What happened? It wasn't pretty. At least Fox and Harmony made it out okay. This isn't what I wanted at all. Where are you taking me? Bear One. That cave where a bunch of homesteaders are holed up. Fox is there too. Jesus. You, 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 you. I think I have to walk all the way over there. I don't think the cut shoot starts. Yeah. You're gonna be coming here. Don't bring your war with you. Don't bring your war with you. The hell are you talking about? It's your war. I'm just here doing something about it. Stupid female. What? Oh, wait. Fuck. I mean... Crap. <laughs> I gotta talk to J-Scale outside. Hey, everyone. Not 
of Ren and Erewhon. Man, that sounds stupid. I thought they was going to add the ability to sprint. This isn't a sprint. This is a jog. I thought they was going to add the ability to sprint in Erewhon. I guess not. Ubisoft does lie about a lot of things. There we go. What the hell? Mads, this is Jay Skell, CEO of Skelltech. Yeah, I know who he is. How long have we been neighbors? Hmm? Maybe you should have tried to be friendly before you needed help. Oh, I was wrong. I thought you and your friends wanted to be left alone. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah. Fox was right. He wasn't the one behind Sentinel's takeover of Aurora. Walker was. Now they're after him because he could take down the drones. And you think it's a good idea to bring the egghead here? You want to throw him to the wolves? It's better than the wolves coming here. Jace! Oh, Harmony. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm okay. We missed you. Are you gonna stay with us? Harmony, I don't know if that's a good... Matt? Is he gonna stay? You have to let him stay. Yeah, all right, okay, okay, okay. Of course he can stay. Awesome. Let's go set up your computer. Mads, thank you. I'm gonna do all I can for you and your friends. I, I promise you. You know, just how many damn computers are you all gonna set up? And speaking of which, your dad's got something he needs to show you. Oh, no. Uh, it would be cool if they add Walker's tattoo like they did in Wildlands. Yeah. I wait, I thought they did. I could be wrong. Did you hear? Ballard has a cure. Oh, we need to help out our sick. We need to make sure that we stay healthy. So use the proper sanitary procedures. I think this is just the end of the mission, right? Fox. I think so. Mad said you had something to show me. Jace! Oh, Fox. It is so good to see you. So great. Thank you for trusting him. He's here, but I'm still making up my mind about him. Shaw said you had something. This is important. Someone's still with the company sent me this video they shot with their smart glasses. Terrorist activity was reported in your area. Please stay indoors and cooperate with security forces. A scale tech security alert is in effect. Terrorist activity was reported Just in your area. Just sit there and shut up! Help us! Please stay indoors and cooperate with security Shut up! Do something! This didn't have to be unpleasant. Daddy! I'm just the guy you need for your wonderland. Daddy! I appreciate mid-level managers who still get their hands dirty. Don't you? Get him in the truck! Mavis! Quit your catcher warning. Won't have any of my guests crying like a virgin on prom night. Let's go! Don't you glare at me, you son of a bitch. I'm a simple man. You promised to cooperate. And as you can see, I do not abide broken promises. My God, that's Trey Stone. He's the CEO of Sentinel, a private security firm. And you hired him? Not to do that. Miles, a government liaison. He suggested I hire Stone. Peter Miles. He's a company man behind Operation Greenstone. He sent us here. Did that asshole set us up to fail? Man, I hate managers like that. You were never like that, Jace. 
How involved is Peter Miles? Uh, someone bombed one of the labs at Manganui. The bombing was enough to push me into making lethal drones. Miles showed up with the funding, and we created the Omega security program. And then uh, Walker came on board as a military advisor. And when you try to shut them down, they took over. We need to get you civilians off the island. And I need to get reinforcements. I've been working on a way to make that happen. Yes! <laughs> That's my homie. I, I, I found a flaw in the drone control program. I'm working on an exploit, a virus, that can take control of a single sector of drones. That would allow a ship to leave the island. Yes. But I need help. If it's enough to let troops land, I'll lend a hand. Thank you, Nomad. Really? I'm setting up a workspace. Come by, and I'll tell you what I need. This feels awesome. <laughs> like before, before I just felt like a big wimp. You, you know what I mean? My stomach was all acidy, and I really just wanted to eat some fish tacos. But now, <laughs> I mean, this feels great. <laughs> like we're gonna kick some ass. <laughs> this feels awesome. <laughs> uh, no matter's like, you gotta be kidding me, right? <laughs> First mention of Wonderland. Uh, in exchange between Trey Stone and one of his subordinates during the Sentinel raid in the video that Fox received, Ian Blake, I found just the guy you need for your Wonderland. Now this is where you start to think it's uh, you know a code name. Appreciate mid-level managers who still get their hands dirty. Uh, collect clue, 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 clue. Yeah, I don't have all the clues. Can I pin the clue? Oh, brother versus brother, point of no return. In time, everything will be revealed. Interesting. Uh, who is the mole? Uh, another anonymous video taken with connected glasses. The mole assisted to a sentinel raid as soldiers harassed and abducted civilians. Trace don't imply these measures could have been avoided if the mole had collaborated better interesting 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 uh, this video has been sent to Mary's Fox by an unknown source with the access to scale tech security camera system looks like a drone to me it shows Drayston CEO of Sentinel Corp giving instructions to his captains on how to repress all movements on the we're in um, yeah uh, why didn't anybody answer or raise the alarm interesting I don't think I read this one. Uh, review the policy. It's good, but it doesn't go far enough. Get tough. Remember what's at stake. We can't afford any meddling. Hoarding trespassers accountable is not enough. Everything runs through our system. Shut the whole thing down if you need to. Make sure that when people read this, they understand. We demand confidentially. If someone can't accept that, they can't work here. Period. Interesting. How, how were the wolves created? Interesting. How did he survive the manhunt? Because he didn't survive the manhunt. They was beating him. They was catching up to him. And he was just a really bad ghost. And he eventually was like, you know what, guys? You don't have to kill me. I'll join your little group you call wolves. You know, not a big deal. That's, that's what happened. Who are the masked soldiers who executed the ghosts? They were wolves, but I don't mind reading this. This is about the strike team that took out the ghost on the crash site. Have you heard anything, anything about Lieutenant Colonel? Da, 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 da. Yeah, resolve this. The wolves, an elite troop that follows Walker. Why? Uh, yeah, okay, so got that. What is Operation Citadel? Nomad found Jaska in his hideout and he was agitated and mentioned Operation Citadel. Jaska, the answer the answers to the drones, Operation Citadel. Right now Citadel is keeping people in, but we can use it to free a war. So Operation Citadel is pretty much using the drone the drones to keep everyone in the island and everyone off the island. So Midas alive. He is alive, actually. Uh, 
Uh, I'm trying to, like, get all of these notifications off. Um, it would be cool if they... Uh, are you going to be doing episode 2 as well? Yes, I am. I am playing through the entire campaign uh, playthrough. I'm doing the whole story playthrough. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why, like, these early missions, I'm trying to kind of rush through them. Oh, my gosh. I want to get this off the screen so fast in a heartbeat, like right now. Get in my way. I'm not going to be playing Ghost War with this character. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I have HUD on and stuff like that. Uh, just because I'm just, I'm trying to rush through the campaign. Since I've already beat it on extreme difficulty with no HUD, there's no need for me to do it a second time. Um, so I'm playing through the play, uh, campaign again. And I will be doing episode 2 and stuff like that. Um, I know the wolves were, I know how the wolves were made when a mommy wolf and a daddy wolf love each other very much. The hog for a very long time and the baby is put in the mommy belly. Interesting. I did not know that. Thank you for that knowledge. The more you know. Uh, I think that's going to be it for the stream. I was only planning to play for about three hours and then I was going to take a, a break. So, on that note, let me go ahead and get this up over here. Hit this button, and hit this button, and hit this button, and hit uh, this button. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. Uh, I don't want it too loud. But yeah, I'm fixing it in the stream. Everybody that was here, thank you for showing up for the stream. I appreciate it. As always, I hope you are having an amazing day. I will be back about an hour from now to stream some more gameplay. Don't know what I'm going to stream though. I hope everyone has an amazing day. Thank you for being here. Stay safe.